Hello everyone, I'm Bruffy1322 and this video is going to show the fastest fully upgraded vehicles in the GTA Online sedans class in terms of lap time. As always, the position counter is in the top left with the best lap time the vehicle achieved in the top right, and for this 2020 series I'll be showcasing the non-raceable vehicles first. So even though, for example, the stretch is in the sedans class, since it can't be used in regular sedan races, it's not going to be included in the main list. We start the regular raceable vehicles list with the Regina in 28th place overall. This video only focuses on track performance, so if you're interested in top speed, where braking, cornering and acceleration aren't relevant, check the link in the description for the top speed testing series, and if you want to know more information about this testing, including the extent to which it's accurate, and how useful it is for you personally, have a read of the full description as everything that you need is in there. This video lists all vehicles and is correct as of the Los Santos Summer Special Update. For any sedans added after that, or other classes of cars, check the playlist linked in the second line of the description, and feel free to check out my Patreon or become a YouTube member if you want to support this work and get testing results of any new cars a little bit early. So the sedans are an interesting class because there's a wide variety of them and their lap times range quite substantially from the very very bottom to the very very top. We've got really slow stuff like we saw with the Regina all the way down in 28th place with a 1 minute 32 lap time and we're already up to the 1 minute 16s with the Glendale in 22nd place and trust me it's going to get a lot faster as well. So there's only been two new additions to the sedans class since the 2017 version of this video with the Stafford that we saw early on and the brand new Glendale Custom which we won't see for a few positions just yet. Before that we've got to get through all of what you would consider to be the, the, the bog standard sedans in the class. Things like the Super Diamond, the Acer, the Premier that we're going to see in the next few positions. These are kind of classic sedans in the in, in the way they build up their lap time. Certainly when it comes to the Acer, the Premier, things like the, the Washington, the Stania, they've all got an incredible amount of cornering grip, at least for vehicles of this speed because they're not very quick in a straight line, they don't have a lot of power, they're not very good in terms of acceleration, but they've got a lot of grip. So they, 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 they're definitely sort of the, the polar opposite of the muscle cars class which is more about raw power and not as much grip. Obviously we've got some interesting additions in there like the Surge here in 16th place which it is an electric vehicle so it's got a bit more acceleration than the others and a bit less top speed and the Super Diamond that we saw earlier which has relatively a little bit more top speed, same for the Cognoscentes, but not quite as good in terms of cornering grip. But in general, for most in most cases, sedans are a little bit underpowered but have a lot of grip and that's why their lap times, they're not too bad, you know, these 1 minute 15s, 1 minute 14s, 1 minute 13s, and we've still got, we're still going to go a lot quicker than that as well. But th those lap times aren't all that bad. They're, they're not so far off the pace. You know, they're quicker than some sports cars. You've got the Blister Compact in the sports class that is slower than all of these sedans. So yes, they may be bog standard. They may be a little bit boring, but they're what you would expect from a sedans class. And to be fair, the sedans class does have a decent level of balance. For example, we've got the Stania here in a 1 minute 13 in 12th place. We've also got a mid 1 minute 13 for the Washington just after it. And then a number of vehicles that we're gonna see pretty much all the way up to the top five that are all in that 1 minute 13 to 1 minute 12 range. So the, the sedans class, because they, you know there is a wide variety, but there's also, a lot of vehicles in the class and it does just naturally give a number of vehicles that are close on pace even though they're quite different to drive for example the warrener that's only you know a tenth of a second quicker than a washington is a very different driving experience entirely but i guess the the main talking point of the sedans class has always been the story about the shafters because the shafters are the dominant force in the sedans class now as we come on to the final few, you know, we're into the top 10 now, I'm going to tell you about what happened with the shafters. So the regular shafter was always in the sedans class and we'll see that, you know, see its current position in the sedans class as we go through the video. And it was always the top pick for the class. The shafter was the quickest, it was the one that you wanted to use. 
So then Rockstar introduced the Shafter LWB, LWB armored version, V12, and V12 armored version. So there were four new shafters they added to the game. And as we'll see, the LWB and LWB armored are right on the same pace as the original shafter. So both of those vehicles, both long wheelbase versions of the shafter, should have been placed in the sedans class with the regular shafter. And both of the V12 versions of the shafter, which is much, much quicker, as we'll see in the video, the V12 versions of the shafter are much quicker than the regular versions or the long wheelbase versions. The, the V12 versions should both have been put in the sport class. But unfortunately, as with many class misallocations in the game, Rockstar made a mistake. By the way, we're into the top five at this point. The tailgater is kind of in no man's land. It's a lot quicker than sixth place, but it's certainly a lot slower than what we're about to see later on in the, the video as well. And this is where Shafter territory starts. Although there is one notable exception to that. But yeah, Rockstar made a mistake with the Shafters. And instead of what they did, instead of putting both the long wheelbase versions in the sedans class and the V12 versions in the sports class, they put both of the armoured versions of the cars in the sedans class with the non-armoured versions in the sport class. So what that meant is that we had the V12 armoured version, which was, you know, far and away quicker than all of the other sport all of the other sedans. It was rivaling mid-sport car pace. That was placed in the sedans class where its only competition was really the regular shafter and it was much, much quicker than it. As we can see here, I have put the shafter LWB regular version in this video as a bonus, even though it's in the sports class and you'll see it in the, you know, the 2020 sports class video, it can be used in sedan races. We will come on to that later on as well. So the Shafter LWB, as I said, it's just a little bit quicker than the LWB armored version and just a little bit slower than the original OG Shafter, which is now in third place for the class with a one minute 9.6. So this, like I said, this used to be the best. And it's a shame that Rockstar made the mistake that they did because there would be quite an interesting balance at the top of the, the class with a number of vehicles that could be used, especially because our new second place for the class is one of the newest vehicles that we've had added to the game uh, with the latest update, the Los Santos Summer Special update, and it's the new Glendale Custom. The Glendale Custom is now in second place. It gets a lap time that is only fractionally quicker than the regular Shafter with a one, one minute nine again. And it, it, it's right on the same pace. It's right on what would have been top sedan cars, you know, top pace for the sedans class if the V12s didn't exist and were raceable in sedans. So this would be the number one sedan in the game if it wasn't for the V12s, which really both should be in the sport class. Just remember with the Glendale and the Glendale Custom that you need to add the trunk modification on to increase traction like a spoiler. That does increase traction, uh, just like other weird modifications that are on a variety of cars. But because of the aforementioned mistake by Rockstar, they put one of the cars that was meant for the sports class into sedans instead, and that is our number one vehicle, the Shafter V12 armored version. Now keep in mind, this actually isn't the quickest car that you can use in a sedan's race. I'm gonna include that as a bonus as well, because later they made a change. They realized their mistake by putting the cars in the wrong classes, but instead of fixing their mistake by removing the armored version from sedans and putting the LWB regular version into sedans, they instead allowed the two sports car sedans, that is the regular V12 and the regular LWB, to be raceable in sedan races as well. So ultimately, the quickest sedan that you can use, or the quickest car that you can use for regular sedan races, is the regular Shafter V12. And like I said, it's included as a bonus here because it's a sports car. It is in the sports class. It can just be usable in sedan races as a way to half fix the mistake that they made with the class allocation originally. 
At this point, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already for regular lap time and top speed testing videos and updates when new cars are released and check out other classes in the playlist. So much like how the best vehicle for off-road racers is a vehicle that isn't actually in the off-road class, both the regular Shafter V12 and the regular Shafter LWB are in the sports class and can be used in sports class races, but can also be used in sedan races. And the V12, alongside its armoured brother, which is only a tenth behind it in terms of lap time, absolutely decimate everything in the class because they were obviously never intended to be there in the first place. As you can see from the comparison, the Shafter V12 gets a lap time of 1 minute 5.1 and what would be the number one in the sedans class without the two V12s is four sec over four seconds per lap slower. It's a crazy difference and you know to this day nothing has ever come close to the V12s because you know they're not they're not really meant to be in the sedans class, they were meant to be in sports. Like the regular V12 is in the sports class. It's just that the V12 armored version should have been in there as well. And what it ultimately boils down to is that the sedans class essentially has two sports cars at the top of it and you can't use anything else in a sedans race and be competitive other than using one of those two sports cars. The Shafter V12 and the Shafter V12 armored. They should have been in sports, one of them was put in sports, but then made raceable in sedans. And the sedans class has never looked the same ever since. And the balance that we would have had at the top of the class with the Glendale, the regular Shafter, the LWB is completely destroyed because the V12s exist. So ultimately, all you need is a Shafter V12. You can use it for sports races and you can have it for sedan races as well. Although it is good to see the new Glendale Custom put a big improvement on the regular Glendale. It gets a good, uh, good improvement on its performance there with lap time that would be, you know, at the top of the class if it wasn't for the V12s. So that's pretty much it for this one. Consider supporting on Patreon or become a YouTube member if you want testing results early. And remember to read the description for more info, comment with your thoughts, like the video if you enjoyed or found it helpful, and subscribe for more. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.